So we're going to look at uh, the straight jacket system or position, whatever you want to call it from the back. Uh, we can just try to go for chokes, arm bars from the back anyway, but the problem with that is, is that Jack is great at defense. So if I'm on his back here, I'm just down to this side, I start trying to choke him and his hands are going to be there all day long to try and stop me. So for the straight jacket position, we need to be on the underhook side. So we're on the underhook side, I've got a nice tight seatbelt grip in. I need to also change the position of my legs as well, because these two hooks, as you've already seen today with the position, the drills we've done, it's pretty easy for him to just straighten that leg and get rid of that bottom hook and start escaping. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to cut our foot across our partner's body. So it's a lot more difficult for him to be able to get rid of that. And we're gonna either place the foot on top of our foot, or if you've got long enough legs, you can also put the full body lock in as well. For now, we're just gonna put the foot on top because we're gonna to try to use this leg in a second. So the idea behind this is, is that I wanna get separate grips. So this is same side grips. What the ultimate goal here is, is to get the opposite grips. So sometimes that might be possible. If he's just sitting there with his arms out, then we can just get these opposite grips, no problem. Usually this would happen where I'm trying to start attacking for stuff and then I take away grips this way. Then, I, if this hand's not available to me, so I can't reach it, just start attacking the neck. As soon as he starts coming in with that hand to try and defend, we're gonna control. So the next part of this is that we're looking to trap this top arm to make sure he can't defend with this arm. The good thing about the uh, straight jacket position is, is that my elbow is blocked by the floor. So if I push his elbow up into the air like this, if he tries to push his arm back down, like it's blocked with this on the floor. Whereas if I had hold of this, for example, then he wanted to push my elbow up and he can escape. So keep hold, and then we're gonna take this top leg, we're gonna bring it over the top of the arm, and we're gonna trap. You can either hide this behind the back, or my preferred option is to cross the legs up. But really important that when we cross the legs that we take this uh, bottom leg over the top. We don't want to bring the top leg over the top of the bottom because there's just that gap for him to take his hand out. Okay? So we want to, top leg goes over the top, bottom leg comes in and we've got that pinch. A better trap over the arm. Then we're going to take this bottom hand and we're going to control, but we're not going to control at the wrist because it's pretty easy for him to just strip that away. We're going to control over the top of the knuckles. So we've got a good grip on the hand and we just give a little twist and we're going to punch this down away from the neck. So the first submission, once we've got this all set up, obviously he doesn't have the defense of this arm now, doesn't have the defense of this arm, this top arm. We're going to bring it across. If his chin's up in the air, lovely jubbly, we're just underneath and through. If he's trying to keep it down, we're gonna just use our knuckles in across, come across the neck, and look. we're trying to get the fingers behind his shoulder. So we don't need to set up any rear naked choke position, just onto the shoulder. Chin is gonna go on top of my own hand, so like I'm cheek to cheek, then this elbow, I'm just gonna pull it back over the top of his shoulder for a short choke. So again, we're going across, hold onto the shoulder, chin goes over the top so everything's nice and tight. Then this top elbow, we just drag it back over the top of our shoulder, or his shoulder, sorry, for the finish. All right, so just quickly again from the start, we're in position, he starts to try and defend. So first arm is got, I go to choke, Second arm is got. First goal is to trap this arm. Cross the legs to make sure it's in there nice and tight. Come over the top, grip across the knuckles, twist it down towards the hip. So both arms trapped. Arm comes in across, cross, cross. Hold on to the top of the shoulder. Chin goes onto the hand. And then we're gonna retract the elbow out for the finish and short choke. All right, so the idea behind this is, is that we just take away any defensive options for him. If I'm just trying to choke him, just trying to armbar him, he's got hands and movement to work with. We're locking his hips down, we're locking his arms down. It's gonna make it a little easier for us to make the finish happen. All right, so let's start off with finding the straight, straight jacket and then finish with that short choke. One, two, three, let's do it.